Worshippers and conservationists gather for what was thought to be last prayers at the historic Chow Mei Tub Tim Shrine on the day the temple's demolition was set to begin. One of the largest landowners in Bangkok, Chula Longkorn University's property management office, was to start the relocation of the shrine to make way for a new condominium building. But the developers did not show and those in prayer were left in peace. To activists, the planned removal of the temple is an example of a much larger problem. This is happening everywhere. A handful of people own the majority of the land in this country. There are no checks and balances. If we choose not to do anything about this, it will get worse. Noarat Sajan was raised near the temple. She says her family home was demolished to make way for new development. It doesn't matter if you want to build buildings on this land, but can't you just leave the shrine alone? Don't you want or even care to preserve this piece of history that's been here for over a hundred years? Historic areas are increasingly being raised to make room for developments, losing traditional structures and their locally owned businesses. Here in Bangkok's Chinatown, the rich cultural heritage is steadily being eroded by urbanization. While old and new buildings sit side by side, one historian believes that part of the problem is rooted in the differences between the older and younger generations. The symbol that you have, the, the space. Chinatown historian Sum Chai Guan Tang Panit has lived in the historic district for more than 50 years. He shows us So Heng Tai, a 200-year-old traditional Chinese family compound. It's been in the same family for eight generations, and they're committed to preserving it. This is a crisis. We will see more cases of old buildings or old shrines getting demolished. We can't wait for the government. We have to try our best to preserve the history and pass on knowledge to new generations. I hope that the younger generations can delay the deterioration process. There are pockets of careful renovations being carried out, but restoring buildings using traditional materials and labor is time-consuming and expensive. For developers, there is often little financial incentive in preserving the city's past. University officials say they will carefully preserve the Chow Mei Tub Tim Shrine when they move it to a new home. But the action of a few local worshippers and activists has meant that for a short time at least, the temple was left untouched. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.